Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how I like to have a restful yet productive day. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing that I like to do when I get up is put away the dishes that were in the dishwasher the night before. I'll be honest, I'm not always the best about remembering to take care of this, but on a Saturday when I have some extra time, I really try to make it a priority. Next, obviously, is coffee time. I can't go for too long in the day without having some coffee. I just made myself some French press, which I've been having a lot lately. Next, I make myself some breakfast. I pretty much have oatmeal every single day for breakfast, but this particular style is a little bit different for me. I got the idea from Elena Tabor from YouTube. Shout out to her for this delicious berry oatmeal. It's super tasty and it definitely fills me up for the morning. Next, especially on Saturdays, I like to hit up a morning yoga class. I'm still working through my Yoga Studios 21 class challenge and I have a few more to go so on this particular day I actually hit up two vinyasas back to back. When I get home from yoga, I like to spend a little bit of time taking care of my plants. I typically think of myself as someone who has a black thumb but I've been trying to get better especially as a new homeowner. I've been spraying the leaves of my fiddle leaf fig tree to give it some much needed hydration. And I've also been tending to my plants in my backyard. This rose bush didn't have a single bud on it last year, and this year it's flourishing. And then I also like to water my fruit trees. After I've gotten some things done, I like to enjoy some downtime, usually on the couch. I'll typically read a book, and normally I'll light a candle beforehand just to kind of set the ambiance. I'm currently reading Michelle Obama's Becoming memoir, and I find it so interesting. I had no idea about her childhood or her early adulthood years, and I'm really enjoying learning all about her. To finish off this day, we went to the beach. We were hoping to catch a really nice sunset on the water, but of course it was super overcast. So we just walked around a little bit. I have this tradition of enjoying collecting seashells anytime I'm at the beach, and I put them in a little mason jar that I keep in our guest bedroom. I have seashells from all of our travels, and it's been kind of a fun little tradition that I've started. The last thing that I like to do before I wind down for the evening is tidy up any last remaining things. In this case, it was some laundry that needed to be folded. All right, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.